What's up everyone, it's me FNAF Fan for the win, and welcome back to another Steven Universe Theory video. Today we're going to be discussing that the Red Eye could be a homeworld ship. The Red Eye was shown in one of the first episodes of Steven Universe. I've seen barely anyone pay attention to the Red Eye and question its purpose. So today I'm going to take my own spin on what I think this thing's purpose is and what its significance could mean for later episodes in the show. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy today's Steven Universe Theory. Going off of its name and its overall design, we can imply that the Red Eye was built to resemble an eyeball. This isn't the first time we've seen a homeworld aircraft built to resemble a body part. Peridot's ship is built exactly like a human hand. Before going any further with the theory, I would like to imply the idea that there may even be a titan-like robot that is made up of all of homeworld's major ships. Could we one day see this homeworld titan being used against the crystal gems? And if so, this would be the proper time for us to finally get to see the temple fusion in action. It would be the only way to combat such a weapon. Such an epic battle would have to be saved for the show's finale altogether. But I digress, I am getting off track. The hexagonal shape in the middle of the red eye reminds me to that of the gem on top of all of the injectors. So it could have been sent to Earth to retrieve the injectors out of the kindergarten. Though I think mainly it could have been sent for the same reason that Peridot and Jasper were sent, to check on the cluster. Of course, they were also sent to capture the remaining crystal gems. Although figuratively speaking, the ship itself was not sent to check on the cluster. Someone inside it was. The same someone who is piloting the ship. This someone was a gem. Peridot was sent to Earth by Homeworld, accompanied by Jasper, who was her escort. And that makes two gems. And that makes three if you count Lapis, who was actually a prisoner aboard Peridot's ship. So whether you count her is up to you. What I'm getting at is that Homeworld did send two to three gems to Earth on Peridot's ship. So then that means that there could have been more than at least one gem aboard the Red Eye. As we all know, different gems have different purposes back on Homeworld. So there would have had to have been a gem who would have access to the cluster's information in the underground laboratory underneath the kindergarten, which would have probably been another Peridot, and that gem would have been sent with an escort, which probably would have been another Quartz gem. So there were at least two gems aboard the Red Eye. And we all know what happened to the Red Eye at the end of the episode. It exploded over the ocean that surrounds Beach City. And I think the explosion would have only poofed these gems and not shattered them. The explosion would have just sent their gems hurtling into the ocean. So I will leave you guys with one question. If these gems weren't shattered, where do you think they are now? Or do you just think I'm completely wrong and that I'm mentally challenged? I want to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And while you're there, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Steven Universe theories, top 10s, and other random videos in the future. And follow me on Twitter for updates on videos that will be coming out in the near future. As always, guys, thank you for watching. I've been your host, FNAF Fan for the Win, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.